This huge undertaking has taken more than four years to complete and this is my story of just some of the many events and achievements that have been brought to fruition over this period. Well, good morning and welcome. Who of you thought they would ever attend a Rivers Trust or a Rivers Conference in Burnley? It's a day of celebration for us. We've been working in Burnley for over four years, but in the, uh, in the guise of the Urban River Enhancement Scheme, it's been four years, and we've done a huge amount of work with communities. You can see all around this room. To engage people in learning about and in the actual physical improvements of our environment and our river heritage. So how do we engage people? Well, the Rivers Trust have experts, and we know about rivers. Because they, they see the opportunity to link this with their national curriculums. And you can see with some of the comments that came back that um, they, they were really successful. It offers an attractive future, not only for the river, but for the people who are associated with it. So moving on from there, as you know, we went on to fund the project, awarding them uh, almost 700,000. And this really was an exemplary project. I was walking up the uh, channel of Burnley in 2010 trying to figure out what the problems were and what we could do to, to fix it. And it was then and there that I decided I really needed to get a project in Burnley to try and not only improve the river but interest the people of Burnley in looking after and improving their river and, and absorbing and kind of taking on ownership and uh, taking pride in where their rivers uh, came from and, and how it's influenced the town and how they can make it better. So we've got a lot of work to do to improve the physical um, appearance of the river but really it's engaging the people so that we actually realise that it's a wildlife river, a healthy um, river full of fish, full of wildlife, full of good habitat um, and it's, it's not just a sewer. Representatives from several organisations gathered at the town mouse to explore and discuss a new project relating to Burnley's town centre rivers. Well, it's a very exciting project. It's the Ribble Valley Trust and all the contributory rivers that flow into the Ribble, they've been explored for environmental enhancement. And today it's the turn of the River Brum. And so we're going to have a, a look at the river and see what we can do to enhance the contribution of the Brum to the environment of Burnley. In the Calder, which we looked at about a fortnight ago, there are opportunities to develop the riverbed to enhance the number of fish in the uh, Calder. In the past, the Calder was one of the great salmon rivers of the country. So what we're going to do today is have a look at the Brum. We've only got a few rough ideas as to what we're going to do. The flow of water in the Brum rises quicker than in the Calder, and salmon do get up this far, it's encouraging them to get up further that is the problem. And that, of course, the river's been cleaned over the years. It was a polluted river, it's far less polluted now than it was. So, all fingers crossed, I really hope that we can achieve it, that particularly for the Calder rather than the Brum. And the rivers are coming on leaps and bounds now um, with fish passage work, uh, habitat improvement type work. You know, fish populations are recovering, invertebrate life's recovering. Um, it's, it's tremendous to see it, really. I think anybody that has a river running through the town is in, a, is in a privileged position. There are already good levels of wildlife, and the areas we've identified to need improvement, there was no life. So we're very pleased that what the work we want to do correlates with the survey results. Well, I'm glad to see there's kids here because they're the future. So that's what you should be aiming at. During the spring and early summer of 2012, Burnley's River Enhancement Scheme Committee devised ways of encouraging the local people in creative ways to learn about their rivers. A wide range of activities were introduced 
throughout various communities of Burnley across all ages and backgrounds. To try and um, help migratory fish that have already been moving up the river system as the rivers have cleaned, as industries declined and the Environment Agency have done the work, uh, put fish passes in, reduce and remove some of the weir so migratory fish like salmon and sea trout can move up the rivers. People were encouraged to enjoy, protect and enhance their local rivers and be made more aware of their rivers and wildlife in Burnley. Oh yeah, let's have a look in there. Well, Himalayan balsam is an invasive species and we're picking it to improve the biodiversity of the rivers um, because it grows in really dense stands along the riverbanks like this and it doesn't let any other plants grow. So um, we're starting at the highest points on the river and working down because the seeds pop and float into the, into the river and land further down. So we're, we're starting at the top and pushing it back down like that. The first of several in-channel alterations to the old riverbed were being constructed on the River Calder upstream from the back of the old Empire Cinema. During the development phase of our application, the public said that the thing that they're most concerned about in the river is all the litter. Um, it puts people off enjoying the river and looking at it and seeing the wildlife because you just see rubbish. One of our priorities is cleaning the rubbish out of the river and we've had the local support of QuickFit and local businesses, the council, Veolia, they've all helped us um, organise community days. Red Rose Recovery have also been heavily involved um, and we've, through our training days and our community activities, we've cleaned up four miles of the river this year. Well, we've got about, I'd say about half a ton here. I should imagine there's still a, this amount of left in again, so I should imagine a ton of uh, rubble and litter just from uh, in the town centre, this short stretch. Well, it's uh, making Burnley a better place, attracting more wildlife to the town and everything. Uh, it can only be good for it. That we can hopefully we can get some more in and get it cleared out properly. It's enjoyable. You get to meet new people and everything like that. So suggest more people try and come along and get involved. A teachers' training event was held in Burnley to introduce the already successful Rivers in the Classroom scheme in the Ribble Valley Schools to the schools of Burnley. The Heritage Lottery Grant, together with the United Utilities funded this programme for two years. What's in the river, what's the river. No, I think it's brilliant, just purely because um, our kids, a lot of them don't get past ASDA, to be fair. Yeah. In January, our topic will be rivers, so it fits in quite nicely. Really enthused about it, and they'll understand then what else is around them rather than just, you know, concrete and cars, basically. The idea of introducing trout eggs in a special temperature control fish tank really caught the imagination of the children who could observe the young fish developing and also learn about their life cycle in the river environment through different means including science, art and music. One is words of advice for a little trout. Because those trout, they've never been anywhere else, have they? You took the eggs, you hatched them, the whole world that they know is that fish tank. So we need to think about what you could tell them if they could listen. Or it, it could be swimming, it could be diving, or it could be leaping. Fishermen, so let's go. What have you got? Let's all run to the river. Finally, the fish were released in a suitable area in the local river. Right, if you can get yourself where you can see. You'll see some will shoot off. There you go, there's always one or two that go. 
Part of the Urban River Enhancement Scheme has been running drama workshops in 26 different schools. And the children themselves have made all these puppets. This whole carnival has been made and written by the children themselves. Um, different chapters have all come together today as in the grand finale. And the Heritage Lottery have funded all this through the Urban River Enhancement Scheme with the Ribble Rivers Trust. When I see water, I think of rain dripping down on my window. Uh, this is the Calder Reach 9, basically we had a, a very fast flowing 2 metres wide channel and what we are doing is making this channel now 6 metres wide and instead of 1.4 we're making a pool and riffle system uh, which is better for the fish to migrate and also good habitat for the fish. More events were held in the town centre engaging with the people of Burnley, making them more aware that the rivers running through the town were healthy, full of fish and wildlife. Escape from the water when it was actually. It's really good for the town, isn't it? Well, I'm really happy with what they're doing, and we've got to start teaching our kids to keep the environment clean and to keep Burnley tidy. One of the projects is improving the prestige weir. We're putting a new, better fish pass which will improve the migration of brown trout up the river and hopefully eventually salmon. Finally, the Prestige Weir project on the River Run was completed and on Monday the 8th of September the new fish pass was opened by the Mayor of Burma, Councillor Andy Tatchell. Well, congratulations to everybody involved with the project and I'm sure it's going to be a great success. Well, it's taken us about four and a half years to get this project from concept to delivery and it's absolutely phenomenal to see the last weir on the Brun that can be tackled and improved for fish passage achieved and it's wonderful to have uh, all of our partners from the Environment Agency through to the college here supporting us today. So, with all the major obstacles modified for the free passage of fish, the contractors were now completing the last two sections of the rivers in Burma Centre, called the Reach 5 and Brum Reach 3. Now this is the last stage and hopefully we'll be finished second week in November. Now completed, it will be much easier for fish, eels and wildlife to live or pass through these sections now that all the obstacles have been removed or modified. Townley was just one of over 330 sites surveyed in 2015 in the Ribble Trust area using the electro-fishing method which stuns but doesn't harm the fish. In early July 2015, the River Ribbles Trust reported that young salmon had been found in Burnley Stanley Park during their annual river survey as well as another location in Colm. The early signs have been very encouraging and it is hoped that it won't be too long that these sightings of salmon spawning in our local rivers will become an annual event making the four years project even more of a major success story.